Okay, this is the last bit of Alexander for quite a while. Uh, this bit here is about the Persians still. So we'll go back to Alexander. And so Alexander decided to await the enemy amongst the very narrow passes of the mountain pass, which were behind him. Because faculty easily he had accepted that this would be uh, the most rational sort of healthy um, plan. Because yesterday we saw the Persians would have a lot of successes coming to replace their weary troops. Anyway, there was in the Exocedo, there was in the fourth declension army of King Darius, a Persian Sistanes. Once upon a time, or some time ago, Quandam, by the praetor of the satrap of Egypt, he had been missus, he'd been sent to King Philip, not Dr. Philip, uh, Alexander's father, and with gifts and all types of honourable uh, cultists, could be gear or something. Um, he had Muta Rivera, that he had changed his home place, his patria sede, to become an exile, and he would secutus then, that he'd follow into Asia, then Alexander. And he had a lot of Fidelis Socius, very loyal friends. Okay, so this guy is considered one of Alexander's friends. Huic, to him, this guy, uh, a Cretan soldier, did something with a letter. Um, it was sealed with the ring of which signum, of which sign of the ring, uh, was not clearly known to him. Anyway, this soldier handed it to the dative, handed it to um, this guy, Sicinese, in English and Latin, the same name. Zal... Zabanains, a praetor of Darius, had sent uh, this letter and it was encouraging Sisanem that uh, something dignified to his, or worthy to his nobility and to his moribuses, to his uh, nature and character, he should iterate, he should produce or do this. Um, what have we got here? This would be a great honour to him, a put the king. So in the king's eyes, this would be something great that he would be doing. Has literus, we'll just take that as a singular. So, Cincinnati's uh, concerning these letter or this letter, inasmuch as it was as he was innocent. Uh, what have we got here? He tempted often to take this to defer it to Alexander. Said, but with so many cures and uh, cares and anxieties and the apparatus of war, uh, seemed to be ergering the king, seemed to be pressing in on the king. So, a more aptious time, sabindi, usually means immediately after or a uh, continual amount of times, he uh, was expecting, he was waiting. And this, probably this gave him, and brought, brought him into the suspicion of some scholastic sort of plan. People would, could suspect that he was up to no good. Nam Epistula. For this letter, price it be, prior to it being redited to him, given to him, had pervenerated, we have in instead of out, it reached into the hands, it came to the hands of Alexandre, Alexander, having uh, lectamed it, having read it, and uh, what do we got? Impressed with an unknown seal of a ring, he had ordered it to be daride to Sisinus, uh, Sisinese. He ordered it to be given to him so he could estimate or um, weigh up the fidem, the loyalty of this barbarian. Queer. Who, because through complores dies, through a lot of days, he had not adirated to the king, he had not approached the king, it seemed uh, he was suppressed, had suppressed this EM, this letter, with some scholastic concilium, some evil sort of plan. And in his ag mine, these are columns that are marching along, without doubt, uh, on order of the king, he was accused by the Cretanibuses, by the Cretans. Chapter 8. Now, Greek soldiers who Thimodes had received from Pharnabazo, the special hope and nearly the unique hope, um, who reached Darius, another pervenerate with an ad. Okay. Okay, so Darius is getting some Greek soldiers, but hi, that means these persuaded him, Magna Pair, greatly that he should go off backwards, retro, and re-seek the spacious plains of Mesopotamia. Um, if he c 
condemn this plan, if we rejected it, then he should salt him at least, uh, divide his innumerable forces uh, near something like Lest or so that not, um, under one ictus, under one blow of fortune, uh, what do we got, his whole forces would, it's a singular, so he would suffer that all these forces of his kingdom would cater a, they would uh, fall in one battle. This was minus to the king, less to the king, displeasing, uh, than to his purple-clad attendants, who are quoting something here, anticipum fide, so it's an ambiguous sort of faith, uh, untrustworthy faith, and people who are bought f for money, they were imminare, they, were, they could threaten to perdition, which is betrayal, and they wanted to divide, not because of the amount of forces, um, then that they themselves, if they digressed in diverse directions, if something had been committed to them, if something had been entrusted to them, they would trade it to Alexander. They would hand it to him. Nihil tutius fore. Nothing could be more safer than to circumdatos these people, than to surround these people with all your army, toto exosu, and overwhelm them with teluses, with weapons. This would be an example, a document of perfidy of treachery uh, in the future that would they would not go unavenged to so say that um, they haven't actually done anything wrong yet but you want to avenge them because these purple clad people think they will betray Darius at Darius but Darius he must have other plans so Darius says he was sanctus and metus sometimes used for holy but he looks like trustworthy and he was a bit milder Another but, so instead of saying but twice, we'll just say so that truly he denied factorum that he would do something so facinous that he was he denied himself to be such a, a criminal. So that uh, those people who were sakutos following suem fidem, following uh, his given word or his trustworthiness, that he would order his own soldiers to be trucadaroid to be slaughtered. Quem dinda whom then? any more amplius of these external nations would I entrust their safety to him if uh, so many soldiers he had imbuous it, he had stained his uh, hands with their blood. No one uh, ought to lure with their own heads uh, such a stupid plan. No one would uh, no one would trust their, their life to such a stupidity or something like that. Uh, de futurus comes from de sum, means it's lacking. So in the future, he'll be lacking those who persuade him if to persuade was pericoulsum, was, was a danger. So no one's going to come forth from saying anything if it would be a danger. This is a long one today. Denicle. So finally, themselves, daily, being called to him. To him uh, they decorate, they spoke. In their councils, uh, various sentiments, uh, and nevertheless, not uh, to be considered with more trustworthiness, those who were persuading him more prudently, more wisely. So you didn't necessarily get trusted more for um, being wiser. Itiqui Gracchus. And so to the Greeks, he ordered to announce them, uh, what have we got, to give them thanks, Agre Gradius. Um, for the goodwill of them, the benevolence of them. Um, but he's saying, if he had continued to go off retro, backwards, without doubt, uh, he would be traitorum, he would be handing over his regnum, his kingdom, to the hostibuses. Pharma Bele. So these rumours or reports that are, that are in the war, they stand, and he who recedes in war is believed to be fleeing. So... There was that. But uh, in to trahende, and to drag out this war, there scarcely seemed to be any rationale. And him. For such a multitude, looks like a dative there, uh, especially or certainly when Himes was now, winter was now in starting, pressing in, in a region vaster, I guess that's from devastated, and in turn by his and by the enemy, which had been vexated, so you might want to say a vast region which had been vexated or a devastated region vexed by the enemy in his own, it would not suffocatura, there wouldn't be enough element, uh, 
nutritional food would not be supplied. Naquidam. Not even, there's a lot of missing, uh, would he be able to divide his copious, his forces, by the, if he kept, preserved or kept the moray of his ancestors, Mayorum's his ancestors, who, uh, universal force in uh, discriminating in crisis or turning points of war, um, they always offered all of their universal forces. Okay, that makes sense. And by Hercules, this king would have been terrible before and, uh, and elated to vain confidence by his own Darius' absence after he sensed himself to becoming, uh, what have we got here? He was cautious instead of rash. Uh, factum, he had dealt it this way. He had hidden away in amongst the narrowness of the past. So Alexander, Darius is thinking he must be sensing Darius is coming. So now he's hiding away in the narrows of the passes in the way of ignoble wild beasts, which uh, by the auditor strepitu, by the loud din heard of those people passing by, these wild beasts would hide away themselves in the latter bristles, the hiding places of the woods. So he thinks Alexander's scared. Yeah, met him. And even now, in a simulation of being sick, um, Alexander's trying to f frustrare his own man. He's trying to maybe deceive his old man. But not anymore would he pass or would he allow this to detract him from this contest. So Darius is building himself up. Okay, so no daily dictionary. We'll just go in that specu, in that cave, in which the Pavidae, the scared people, have receded. They've taken themselves away scared. He would ob oppress all of these hesitating people, the Greeks. These are actually more magnificent uh, yaktas, more magnificent boasts than having anything of truth, than various, which is truth. <laughs>